Hello, I am David W. Brucker. This is Programming Today I Learned, episode 108 in the WebGL series. Today we're going to be taking the complex objects and pulling out the shared basic functionality. Just like we did in the last one, except we're in the last one we were using primitives. This one we're going to be using um, complex objects. So let's go take a look. As you can recall, we had this basic thing from before and it was made up of a few different uh, cubes or you know whatnot, and um, a lot of the functionality was similar to the uh, basic renderers, but this one had a slightly difference in that it had different read states and draw states. It had this rendering it called the render draw objects on itself, and had the ability to draw or uh, opaque and blend and know what it's supposed to be doing, and doing what it needed to do and uh, beforehand. So in this case, it's computing the model matrix for every uh, individual object. So we have our proper translations and whatnot done. And then of course it has its selection color uh, and the initialization. So we're gonna be extracting that out just like we did in the previous episode, um, but specific to where the objects come into play. So we have two new things here. We have thing one and thing two. And they of course each have their own selection color and translation. These now look like um, kind of what the other one was, but as opposed to having the attributes objects being sent in, we're basically just saying this object type and objects list, and then we're setting that into this basic complex object. Same thing with thing two. This one has three different cubes, and we're sending those options in. So what, what does basic cube, uh, complex look like? Pretty similar to the others. Um, as before, we're just you know setting our unity knife, we have these options, and then we're grabbing the objects out. And then everything else is pretty much the exact same as before. We really just extract that out uh, just as is, and that allows us to have what we see here. So we have these two different objects, thing one and thing two, and they each have all the shared functionality, so we only have one place to change in our source code, and yet they're different. So uh, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and give a like, share on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for a newsletter. Thanks, have a great one.